Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, Week 9 predictions. Nothing new here, just another Manning vs. Brady matchup as the Denver Broncos travel to Gillette Stadium to take on the New England Patriots. Now, the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots, in my opinion, are the two best teams in the AFC. The Broncos, with their offensive weapons, Emmanuel Sanders, Demarius Thomas, Julius Thomas, and also their running backs like Ronnie Hillman, who has come alive as of late, has propelled the Broncos to a 6-1 record and look like the best team in the AFC. The Patriots, though, with Tom Brady, Julian Edelman, Brandon LaFell, Danny Amendola, and of course, tight end Rob Gronkowski have also looked very good. And after their dominant win against the Chicago Bears, they look like another great team that could compete for a Super Bowl championship. This matchup between Manning and Brady will be no different as they'll need to both be on their games in order to beat the opposing team. Overall in this game, I see the Denver Broncos escaping Gillette Stadium with a win. Dylan's prediction is the New England Patriots. It's a great matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the upstart Dallas Cowboys. Now the Arizona Cardinals are one of the most underrated teams in football and it seems like they don't get any respect even at their 6-1 record. The Cowboys on the other hand have also been a great team but with Tony Romo's injury suffered last week against the Washington Redskins on Monday Night Football has put the Cowboys in a lot of doubt. The Dallas Cowboys will need to rely much on DeMarco Murray who has looked very great this season besides a couple of fumbles but overall the Cowboys look to win against the Arizona Cardinals. This will be a very very tough game with Larry Fitzgerald finally coming alive against the Philadelphia Eagles and if Romo doesn't play I think the Arizona Cardinals pick up the W. But even if Romo plays, I still see the Arizona Cardinals sneaking out of this game with the W. Dylan's prediction is the Arizona Cardinals. It's Sunday night football on NBC when the Baltimore Ravens travel to Heinz Field to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now last week against the Indianapolis Colts, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger threw six touchdown passes and also put over 50 points on the Indianapolis Colts defense en route to a huge upset win over the Colts. The Ravens, on the other hand, lost narrowly after what appeared to be a game-winning touchdown by Steve Smith Sr., but it was called back due to offensive pass interference and the Ravens ended up losing the game to the Cincinnati Bengals. This week, we have one of the best rivalries in the NFL, and the Baltimore Ravens need to get Steve Smith going against a Steelers team that can pack a punch on the defensive side. The defense have sh struggled at times, but against the Colts they played pretty solidly. The Ravens defense can be up and down as well, but against Ben Roethlisberger they'll need to be at their best. Overall in this game, I see the Baltimore Ravens coming out on top in Heinz Field. Dylan's prediction is the Pittsburgh Steelers. The final matchup here is the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New York Giants on Monday Night Football. Now Andrew Luck and the Colts after being upset by Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers in a blowout, the Colts will be looking to get back on track against a New York Giants team that just hasn't been able to find its way. The Giants have had a lot of good moments though, but they'll need to continue their good moments against the Indianapolis Colts and for the Colts to win they just need to keep rolling on offense and their defense definitely needs to improve. After shutting out the Cincinnati Bengals they allow over 50 points and six touchdown passes to Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers offense. Now they face Eli Manning and a Giants offense that can get hot if you're not careful. It will be tough without Victor Cruz, but Odell Beckingham Jr. of the New York Giants has looked pretty solid. He'll need to show up big if the Giants want to beat the Indianapolis Colts. But overall, on Monday night, I see the Colts coming out on top. Dylan's prediction is the Indianapolis Colts.
The player of the week is Chicago Bears quarterback, Jay Cutler. Now the Chicago Bears are 3-5, and five, and even though they don't play this week, they have a tough game next week against the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau. Jay Cutler will need to step it up for the second half of the season if the Bears have any chance of making the playoffs. Can they do it? We'll just have to find out and see. The New Orleans Saints take first place in the NFC South, even with the 4-4 record anyway, but they defeated Carolina in a big way on Thursday Night Football 28-10. Carolina struggled all night on offense, and Cam Newton had a lot of overthrows and an overall tough night capping off one of his worst performances of his career. Drew Brees, on the other hand, did not have a great night in the first half, but rebounded in the second half to propel New Orleans to a 28-10 win. Week 8 signals about the midway point in the NFL season, so let's see the scores from Week 8. We have the Denver Broncos over the Chargers 35-21. We also had the Lions over the Falcons 22-21 the Vikings in overtime over the Buccaneers, 19-13, the Bills over the Jets, 43-23, the Patriots over the Bears, 51-23, the Seahawks over the Panthers, 13-9, the Dolphins over the Jaguars, 27-13, the Bengals over the Ravens, 27-24, the Texans over the Titans, 30-16, the Chiefs over the Rams 34 to 7, the Cardinals over the Eagles 24 to 20, the Steelers over the Colts 51 to 34, the Browns over the Raiders 23 to 13, the Saints over the Packers 44 to 23, and the Washington Redskins over the Dallas Cowboys by the score of 20 to 17. The game of the week was Lions versus Falcons, and the upset of the week was the Redskins versus the Cowboys. My prediction record for week eight was five and nine. Dylan's prediction record for week eight was seven and seven. My total prediction record for this year is 65, 52, and one. Dylan's prediction record for the entire year is 76, 41, and one.